Hello and welcome to this general astrological overview for the day of March 26, 2022. So today we have the moon continuing her journey through Capricorn, hardworking, disciplined, cold, calculating Capricorn, as I often like to say, and uh, forming a number of sextiles and also a conjunction with Pluto. So let's um, walk through this starting quite early in the day. We first have a sextile from the moon to Jupiter here at 19, almost 20 of Pisces. And this was just before 4 a.m. Eastern time. And so we have uh, some early morning support uh, involving Jupiterian things, expansion, growth, our worldview, a sense of optimism and confidence. Um, so we have some, some nice supportive energy in that way in the early morning hours. And it will continue to be with us uh, for quite a few hours throughout the day, I would say. Now, as the morning goes on, the moon then moves further into a sextile, this time with Neptune, which is, I think in this case, at least similar in many ways, except that Neptune is emphasizing a more um, spiritual, nebulous, diffusing of focus, softening of focus uh, type of approach. So there's a there's perhaps a softening through the sextile to Neptune of some of those more hard edges that the moon and Capricorn can represent. And so it's like even as maybe some people are getting up and going to work, um, it's like, yeah, we, we feel that sense of having to work, that sense of obligation and everything. But there's also something, uh, I mean, it could be as simple as like one's morning cup of coffee or um, some kind of something, whether physical or non-physical, that helps soften and bring a greater sense of ease and support to that work that we are doing uh, with the moon in Capricorn. Now, as we proceed further, this gets a little more interesting because the moon now works its way towards a conjunction with Pluto and a sextile to Mercury, which is still pretty closely uh, sextile Pluto itself. So, First of all, um, just after 6 p.m., that is when we will have the Moon-Pluto conjunction. This could be a bit intense. So unlike earlier in the day when things were a bit easier, a bit softer, this um, could be a bit challenging with the Moon conjunct Pluto talking about encounters with difficult power structures. Um, last month when we had the Moon conjunct Pluto, it was also conjunct Venus and Mars there, and that was some rather rough energy it is true and so my sense my intuitive sense is that there may be a bit of a ripple effect from that there may still be like um like an imprint in that area uh right around 28 degrees of capricorn um from what we had there last month with both venus and mars uh conjoined to pluto as well and I think with the moon conjoining Pluto today, we may see a reactivation on some level of that. Now, again, the good news is we're starting off the day with that support, those supportive sextiles um, from uh, the moon to Jupiter and Neptune, and now, of course, to Mercury. And so on another level, though, as <clears throat> the moon uh, moves into that uh, sextile with Mercury, which perfects a little before 8 p.m., um, but is is basically still conjoined Pluto uh, around the time it does that. It's also reactivating the uh, Mercury-Pluto sextile itself, which really uh, lends a lot of support towards using our minds to explore things that are deep and dark and normally hidden. And so there's this sense of um, there's a sense of being able to safely navigate and maybe even safely talk about things that normally might carry too much of an emotional charge with them uh, to make us feel comfortable talking about. So we're talking about things that we might normally be afraid to talk about, or maybe um, well, it could be any any variation of that, but it could also be. Uh, the idea of short distance travel that is connected to something a little intense or or encountering of some power dynamic that 
uh, feels rather ominous to us. Um, but again, this nice supportive sextile energy tells us that <clears throat> even if there are challenges to overcome, we will um, feel like we have the wherewithal most likely to overcome them. And that also perhaps comes from the moon being in stabilizing <clears throat> and uh, hardworking, disciplined, uh, earthy Capricorn here. Now, just one more thing for this day. As you can see here, um, <clears throat> just before 9 p.m. Eastern time, the moon does enter Aquarius. And so there will be a shift in the energy from that more uh, traditional or conservative Capricorn vibe to the more futuristic, progressive, um, sort of mentally, intellectually detached Aquarian vibe as uh, the moon moves into that sign here in like late in the evening, or I guess this would now, I guess, technically be considered nighttime. Um, <clears throat> so we won't talk too much about this because this is kind of more getting into tomorrow's energy. But now the moon, as it comes off this conjunction with Pluto, uh, as soon as it enters Aquarius, it becomes co-present with Mars and Venus and Saturn and thus is sort of pinging those energies and also now square by sign to Uranus. So now we're getting more of this, this Mars Uranus square, even the Venus Uranus square, certainly the Saturn Uranus square, the moon is sort of reactivating that stuff uh, here later on in the nighttime. But again, we'll be seeing that more over the next couple of days as the moon moves through Aquarius. And we'll talk about that in subsequent videos. So that is about it for March 26th. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful day.